So let's look at our final tutorial on making this Google Lit Trip. I, I've had a few problems with this in the past, so I just wanted to make sure I made another tutorial to give you a little bit of clarification. After you put together your um, different locations, as you can see over here in My Places, I'll have a list of several place marks. The last step is that we want to package all of these locations together into one folder so that we can um, export them all out as one file instead of trying to just export them out individually. So to get started what we need to do is we need to make a folder. You can do that by going up into the menus across the top of your screen and clicking on the Add menu. And the first option in there is to add a new folder. So when you do this you should be prepared to just name the folder your the project that you're working on. In this case I'm making a where the wild things are. Okay, so that's the name of my project and I'm going to go ahead and say okay to that. And somewhere in the places I see, oh down at the bottom there, there's the where the wild things are folder. I'm just going to move that up to the top so I can see it in relation to the rest of my place marks. And now the last step then is to drag those place marks into the, uh, the folder there. It's a little tricky. Sometimes I find that it's easiest just to click right on the place mark icon and click it and drag it right up to the folder icon. And then I can do the same thing with subsequent place marks. Now if you get the place marks in the wrong order, you can drag and drop, move them around so that you put them in the order that you want. Okay, so you should put them in the correct order that you want them to actually play through in the tour. Once all the place marks are in there, a nice way to check and see if you've done this correctly is to close the folder by clicking on the triangle on the left side of the, uh, of the folder icon there. If I click on that triangle and everything disappears, that means that it's within the folder. If I still see some of those place marks, it's without. It's outside the folder there. Um, that should help you as you get ready to do this. I'm going to close the folder and then all the contents of this folder now are together. The last thing I'm going to do in order to submit this assignment or to share this with other people is I'm going to right click on this folder and hit the Save Place As option. When I do this, the file that's created is a KMZ file. Um, you can see that I can choose where I want to save that file um, and give it an appropriate name. It will, should name it based upon what the folder is called, but if you have any questions you can name it whatever you want. Once I save this out to my desktop, then that is pretty much what I needed to do. Let's take a look out at the desktop. And you should see here, got a lot of stuff open, sorry. Out there on my desktop is my new file. It's called Where the Wild Things Are. You can take that wherever you need to. You can email that. You can upload that to a website. You can share that however you choose. But that is how you go from start to finish creating your Google Earth lit trip and then submitting that or sharing that with other people. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.